Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to live in Silicon Valley without a car. Because I live in Silicon Valley, specifically in unincorporated San Jose, and I don't own a car. And I get asked a lot of questions about what it's like, so I thought that I'd talk a little bit about my experiences and answer some frequently asked questions. Because I get asked a lot of questions about this. There's clips of me taking transit in a lot of my vlogs. And I also post a lot about transit on social media because I've recently been getting really involved in transit advocacy. So just for a little bit of background, I'm 21 years old. I've never owned a car. In my entire life currently live in unincorporated cambrian which is a county pocket that's surrounded by san jose the transit where i live is not that great we also have a lot of holes in our streets we don't have bike lanes and it's just generally not a very pedestrian friendly area but i still take transit here so i guess i'll start with the number one question that i get asked which is why do you put yourself through this why do you take transit why don't you just buy a car like everyone else there are multiple reasons why i take transit but the main one is financial i go to sjsu and we have a smart pass contract with vta so students get unlimited rides on vta buses and light rail so basically i can use this clipper card to get pretty much anywhere i want to go in santa clara county completely for free in 2018 i think i only spent 200 dollars on transportation in total and those 200 dollars were spent on taking things like BART and Caltrain, which are transit agencies that go outside of the county that I live in, I'm using Lime electric scooters and Ford Go bikes and the occasional Lyft. I'm very much against Uber and Lyft and other TNC companies because they're terrible for the environment. They actually increase vehicle miles traveled because the Uber or Lyft driver has to travel from wherever they are to you pick you up, take you to where you want to go, and then travel even further to pick up the next person. So Uber and Lyft, in my opinion, result in a lot of unnecessary emissions. I occasionally have to take Lyft if I need to go somewhere before transit in my area has started or after transit in my area has stopped. I used to take Uber and Lyft a lot more when I first moved to San Jose, but now I only take them when I absolutely need to because I now understand how terrible for the environment they are. The second reason why I take transit and why I will continue to take transit even if I do have money for a car is because taking public transit is one of the best things that you can do to reduce your carbon footprint. And in California cars cause a lot of emissions. They cause even more pollution than manufacturing and other things like that. I'm planning on living for a long time, so I don't really want to pollute the earth any more than I have to. And I'm willing to sacrifice some of my time because transit is very slow to do that. Another question that I get asked a lot is why I'm involved in transit advocacy and why I keep advocating for more funding for things like bus service. If you've ever been to Silicon Valley, you probably know that the transit here is pretty bad. The buses are extremely slow. The light rail is probably even slower. The only decent transit that we have is Caltrain, which doesn't go everywhere. The transit situation here is really bad, and no one in power really seems motivated to transform the system into something great but i do still think that it's important to make my voice heard and encourage others to do the same because i think that if enough people tell their representatives that they're ready for a better transit system here they'll actually do it one of the biggest problems right now in my opinion is that not enough people are asking for better transit another question that i get asked a lot is is transit safe i've never been harmed in any way on transit the bus drivers handle most issues before they get out of hand and things and things have only gotten out of hand a few times since i've been on transit most of the time it's completely fine everyone just minds their own business. I don't really understand why a lot of people think that transit isn't safe. Another question that I asked a lot is how can we fix the transit system? There's a lot of people out there that think that we need more taxes to pay for transit, but I personally think that it's more of an issue of priorities. VTA, which is the transit agency in my area, is currently getting a lot of money from transit sales taxes, but most of that money is actually going towards highways because VTA is a combination of a congestion management agency and a transit agency. So they deal with highways and transit, and highways are definitely their biggest priority. I think that we can have a really great transit system if they decide to prioritize transit, biking, and walking over highways. I don't think that that's going to happen anytime soon, but so that's really what I see as the best solution. I think that transit is bad because it's not prioritized. A lot of these questions have been pretty serious, so I want to finish this video with something that's less serious, and that question is what do you do on transit? Because transit in my area takes at least two to four times longer than driving. One of the best things about taking transit, in my opinion, is that you can just relax, you don't have to worry about driving, you don't have to worry about traffic, you don't have to worry about other cars, you can just sit there and do whatever you want. Most of the buses and light rail that I take have free Wi-Fi, so back when I was in school I would do homework a lot of the times on transit. I also go on social media and read and just relax. Some of the roads in San Jose really need to be repaved, so sometimes the bus rides can be pretty bumpy, but it's generally pretty relaxing. It takes me about an hour to get from my house in South San Jose to my work in downtown San Jose, and I just really like to take that hour to relax and check the news and check social media. So I I think I covered all the main questions that I get asked, but if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And I just want to end this video by encouraging all of you to try public transit in your area if you've never tried it before. But the best thing that you can do to make transit better in your area is to take it. Well, because if more people take transit and the ridership goes up, your representatives and the people who are actually making
making decisions about transit will see that people care about it and they will probably want to invest more money and time into making the transit system better. So basically I'm a big fan of transit. I take it every day. I work in transportation demand management. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new one. Goodbye.